if I ever have a mantra from that one, it will be in the topic of today's talk. Go with the strength you have. Who said this and why is it important for us to take note of this statement? Today we're talking about Gideon and a very big uh, work he had, an assignment he had to accomplish. It was very big and he felt like he could not be able to do it. How did he do it and what was the result? Let's see how we can run through the history in a nutshell. We we'll begin by reading Judges chapter 6 verses 2 to 6 and verse 14. Pay attention as I read brothers and sisters. The Bible says, the hand of Midian dominated over Israel. Because of Midian, the Israelites made hiding places for themselves in the mountains, in the caves, and in the places difficult to approach. If Israel sold seed, Midian and Amalek and the Easterners would attack them. They would camp against them and ruin the produce of the land all the way to Gaza and they left nothing for Israel to eat and no sheep or bull or donkeys. For they would come up with their livestock, with their livestock and tents, and numerous as numerous as the locusts, and they and their camels could not be numbered. And they would come into the land to destroy it. So Israel became greatly impoverished on account of Midian, and the Israelites called to Jehovah for help. It was in this regard that Jehovah chose one man out of the land of Israel, ancient Hebrews. That man's name was Gideon. The assignment he was given was to vanquish this army and save Israel in the name of Jehovah. And what did Jehovah tell him? Let's go on to read verse 14 and see that. Still in the same chapter 6, now verse 14. There the Bible says, Jehovah faced them and said, Go with the strength you have, and you will save Israel out of Midian's hand. Is it not I who send you? That was the assurance. You might be thinking that this assurance was enough to make Gideon very, very strong and able to go for the assignment and accomplish it. Anyway, he made a statement in which we're going to read in the book of Judges chapter 6 verse 15. Let's read. Gideon answered him, Pardon me, Jehovah, how can I, how can I save Israel? Look, my clan is the least in Manasseh, and I am the most insignificant in my father's house. Gideon here made a honest appraisal of himself, humbly acknowledging that he's the smallest in his family. He's not even known in his family to be a valiant man. And when you talk about clan-wise or national, nationally he's also very small. That was what he told Jehovah, feeling really inadequate, unqualified, and unworthy to complete this assignment. Anyway, Gideon went on and proceeded to do what Jehovah told him to do. Now, how do we know that? The scripture also tells us why we should believe that he did so. We have it in records and we're going to read now the book of Judges chapter 7 verses 19 to 22. If you're there, this is what the Bible says. Gideon and the 100 men who were with him came to the edge of the camp at the start of the middle of, of the middle night watch just after the sentries were posted. They blew the horns and smashed the large water jars that were in the hands. So the three bands blew the horns and shattered the large jars. They held the torches in their left hands and blew the horns in their right hands and they called out, 
the sword of Jehovah and of Gideon. All the while, each man stood in his place all around the camp, and the whole army ran away, shouting as they fled. The 300 continued to blow the horns, and Jehovah turned the sword of each one against the other throughout the camp. And the army fled as far as Bethsheba on to Zerah, and as far as the outskirts of Abram and Hola by Tabat. So in this scripture, this part of the scriptures shows us that Gideon succeeded in doing what Jehovah told him to do. But you might ask yourself at this stage, what strengths did this man use? Did they use their own strength to fight the war and win against their enemies? Let us try to explain a little bit of what happened, what we just read right now in um, our meeting workbook. If you look at page 10, right there in your meeting workbook, you look at page 10, see the picture up there. Can you see Gideon? Can you see some of the men with him? Yeah, I know you're looking at just Gideon and about three men. He had a hundred men with him. That was one century. One hundred men with him. He dispatched another hundred somewhere else and another hundred somewhere else. Remember, these people had been reduced from 22,000 all the way down to just 300 because Jehovah wanted to show the Hebrews something they might not know about. So here they are. Only Gideon seemed to have sword here. The rest of the men here don't have it. But you see fire, and you see horn, and you see broken shards of the large water jars we talked about, we see them on the rock. Can you see the enemies? The answer is no. Why? Because they all ran away. And why did they run away? Gideon and his men shouted out, the sword of Jehovah and of Gideon. And as they were shouting, they also blew the horn. And there was a great noise. The men also in the camp there, the enemies, woke up to a great noise and started making noise themselves. They threw themselves into confusion and Jehovah added to it. They were confused and they started fleeing. And as they were fleeing, they turned each other's sword against themselves and were killing themselves. And they were running, running away only because Jehovah made it happen. So Gideon and his men did not have to fight. They did not have to use this strength in, the, in this case. It is at this point that we understand what Jehovah says. Go with the strength you have. Very clear. The message was clear. Now, how can we balance this with what is happening today? Gideon was successful because he didn't rely on his own strength. The men with him were outnumbered. You couldn't count the enemies. They were just too much. But there were just 300 men who wanted to fight against these people. But because Gideon relied on Jehovah's strength, he became successful. And that's one of the stories we have in the Bible that's spectacular when you talk about Jehovah as a manly person of war. This is one of it. But today, we do not have any reason to fight a war like Gideon and his men did back then. If you look at the picture down, we can see that one top there, but when we look at the picture down, we see uh, a caption below it. It says, Jehovah expects us to use the strength we have to worship him. His Holy Spirit can make up for any lack and give us success. That's exactly what happened to Gideon. In this case, we see a man, and that is actually our brother, going out in the face of somebody pushing him on wheelchair. Now let me ask you this question. What strength do you think, okay, we're having it on the screen now. What strength do you think this brother has? A lot of strength? I don't think so. But he's accomplishing what even those who are humanly powerful, very powerful, cannot accomplish in Jehovah's service. 
Jehovah's Holy Spirit can make up for any lack and give us success, just as it is in the case of that brother we see here. Preaching the good news means he was, or oh, he hears, maybe he's still doing it right now, impacting positively on other people's lives. So he's doing so great because he relied on Jehovah's Holy Spirit. And that's what we are expected to do. Two takeaways from what we're discussing this evening briefly is that we have to take note. We have to take note that whatever we do, Jehovah will support us. And like Gideon, for the first instance, it's good for us to have a humble appraisal of ourselves. That means we're not thinking too much of ourselves, that it is necessary. But we must accept Jehovah's help going forward in the service with the strength that we have right now. The second point is we must realize that for us to be successful in Jehovah's service, we need to rely totally on Jehovah, not what, in, what we can do with our human powers. And that is when His Holy Spirit can make up for any lack on our part and give us success. So if I may say it again, brothers, I will still give this encouragement. Brothers and sisters, go with the strength you have and you will have a lot of success in Jehovah's service. 